Good afternoon, Jan Roberts from Key Leadership Institute in South Africa. And I just wanted to do a short video on a, on a post I did on, on social media where you could get a free PDF on how to adapt in the face of uncertainty in three simple steps. Now, if you followed my post from Monday on, on leading in uncertainty, I elaborated there on the kind of uncertainty I'm actually talking about. See, yes, leaders often feel uncertain about the, the future because they may worry about economic, political or social changes and how they could impact their organization and whether they will be able to adapt and succeed in the face of uncertainty. Add, add to that the events from the last three years and blood pressure levels rise considerably. Now, those areas may all play a part in the overall picture, but there is another uncertainty in business that causes leaders to build up stress, have late evenings, and even lack a good night's sleep. And that is knowing the organization has challenges, but not knowing exactly what they are. See, I mentioned uh, an example from my own experiences in industry where the, the wrong kind of program was implemented with, without any measurable positive effect because they were totally unaware what exactly the problems were or how they would provide the right training and development that would create sustainable change with the focus, of course, on the word sustainable. Now, I know we've all been to trainings, uh, conferences and courses and came back excited and ready to change the world until Monday happened. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that it has got to be this Monday or even a Monday, but that kind of feeling that just drains you again because you're back in, in, in normality um, uh, again. So, but, but this is also one of the main reasons why so many organizational leaders are dissatisfied after investing and implementing learning and development programs for their teams. Not just because of that Monday feeling, but much more due to the ineffective or the wrong kind of training having been implemented with a lack of expected outcomes as a direct result. Now, a report from the UK several years ago stated that more than 50% of leaders regularly take antidepressants. So stress levels are at an all-time high. Now, of course, there are many steps and ways to adapt to uncertainty from a, from a leader's point of view, and play in our leadership game discovers within a few hours what exactly the challenges in an organization are. But as indicated in the, in the free PDF, there are three steps to, to work through to eliminate some of the uncertainty in your organization. And the first step I mentioned there was when leaders work against each other. Now, I also mentioned uh, Patrick Len Lencioni because he describes in his book, The Five Dysfunctions of a Team, when there is, when there is no teamwork in at management level, there simply is no team. So, so when the leadership team don't collaborate effectively with each other, this will damage the overall well-being of the organization. Now, this can be for a variety of reasons, of course. Lack of effective communication between the members, silo mentality, fear of open and honest discussions in the boardroom, even though the organization has an open-door policy, but people feel, uh, feel the door might be open, but the mind beside, behind it is normally shut. Now, I mentioned some ways to, to resolve this issue with the main one being honest and open conversations to enable the entire team to get to the root problem so the team will be able to kind of row in the same direction. And you know, if you've been in a rowing boat with a few people before and they don't, they all do their own stuff, how ineffective that is. But the second uh, step was to discover what systems and support each of our team members need to be successful in their teams. Very important, of course. Now, this is also an important area to take charge of an organizational leader. And in this step, I mentioned five areas to concentrate on, such as regular one-on-one -on -one meetings, encouraging feedback, identifying gaps, and providing training and development, but not just any training and development, but the right one, which might be different for those in the leadership team, as well as the the teams they lead. An example is executive coaching for an ex-co member uh, in, an, in, in a very specific area, while his or her team might need diversity, equity, and inclusion, maybe communication skills, or ways to connect better with their colleagues. 
Now, whatever solutions come as an intervention, such as the leadership game, it is crucial for the success of an organization to invest in your people. Uh, as Les Brown said, and I quote him a few times, you do not shrink into greatness. And this he mentioned as a direct result of organizations restricting or counseling uh, learning and development and any other training when times get harder. It is at that time that really it needs to be ramped up so people are ready when things go, go better again. So implementation of programs, processes and developments is key for the success of your organization uh, and that's for sure. And the third step I mentioned in that PDF was take action. Take action on the knowledge you, gain, you gained and gathered in step two. See, the information gathered in that second step is absolutely useless unless action is taken to implement those and thereby drive progress. See, the biggest gap in the world is usually between knowing and doing. Uh, that's from a whole different uh, uh, book about leadership. But, but therefore, communicating those findings in a timely manner, planning ahead, and implementing the plan are absolutely crucial again. See, I, I listened to... Um, John Asharaf yesterday, in fact, who made it very simple in four steps. Think, plan, do, review. I love it. It's that, sim that simple and that explains it all. But I hope this additional information about the PDF, the issue of uncertainty and leadership and how to adapt has been helpful. Now, should you have any questions or if you haven't requested the PDF on those three simple steps yet, DM me or le let me know in the comments box and I will send you um, send it to you and answer any questions you may have. I am Jan Roberts, co-founder of Key Leadership Institute, founder of JR Speakers Club, uh, and you can reach me at jan.roberts at keyleadershipinstitute.com or go to our website, www.keyleadershipinstitute.com. I will speak to you soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day.